Hello and welcome to the Restoration Weekly, the show where we showcase one amazing restoration project every week. This week's project is the restoration of Avro Shackleton WR963 to flying condition. First of all, a bit about the Shackleton. The Avro Shackleton was a contraprop British long-range maritime patrol aircraft used by both the RAF and South African Air Force. The Shackleton was developed in the late 1940s after the withdrawal of the US Air Force-owned B-24s which had previously been leased to the Royal Air Force. It improved on previous designs to cater to the rapidly de developing submarine technologies, such as the snorkel, which meant submarines no longer had to stay on the surface. It was developed from the Avro Lincoln, with the infamous designer Roy Chadwick at the helm. Throughout its 42 years of service, the Shackleton had three main variants, the Mark I, Mark II and the Mark III, with the Mark III replacing the tailwheel design with a tricycle landing gear system. The Shackleton was also fitted with various technologies to help it pinpoint and destroy enemy submarines, such as de depth charges, Autolycus, which is a submarine detection system detecting f diesel fumes from miles and miles away, and Orange Harvest, an ESM receiver fitted to Marine Patrol Avro Shackletons during the Cold War, which picked up on transmitted radar emissions from Soviet submarines. Now, a bit about Avro Shackleton WR963. WR963 was part of the second batch of MR2 shacks to be built for the RAF, with its service starting in 1954 and ending in 1991. It racked up an impressive 15,483 flying hours over a 37-year period, serving with 224, 210, 38 and 205 squadron, and then later as an airborne early warning AEW, platform with Ape Squadron. In 1991 it was purchased alongside another Shackleton, WL790, by the Shackleton Preservation Trust, who shipped them to Coventry Airport, where they were maintained by Air Atlantic. Air Atlantic tried and failed to bring the aircraft back to UK skies, and ended up sending WL790 to the USA, where it flew until 2009, and now resides at Pima Air and Space Museum. This last taxi was in 2015 to honour Vulcan XH558. Finally, a bit about the restoration project. Known by the Shackleton Aviation Group, plans are for WR963 to feel air under its wings yes again. A plan is currently being put in place to restore this beautiful machine, and it has just completed its last engine run before being dismantled to go to Elvington, to be with other aircraft such as, such as the UK's only complete Halifax and the only taxiable Hanley Page Victor, unless Bruntingthorpe can prove us wrong. Here will presumably be restored and hopefully flown from. To follow this project, they have a Facebook and website. They also do taxi runs sometimes, though I don't know this might be subject to change due to their recent move. I hope Flymen can go see WR963 in future at its new home and maybe even see it fly.